All right, after taking like a little kind of a short break, we're on back to this case. This is episode two, I think. It's been quite a while. I think one week away from the first episode. If not, who really gives a crap? Let's just keep playing. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> Gumshoe. Oh, it's another one of those cases. Well, that's the setup I'm going to throw out this room service. Huh? Well, Claver isn't going to eat it now, is he? Last, time, last thing I remember about this episode was Clavier was cutting a burger and then I guess he got ketchup on his clothes and he was like, Oh, that's so expensive! So he fainted because he can't really wash it. Sucks. I guess not, but it just seems like a waste just to throw the food out. You can't eat it if you pay for it. When <laughs> he, he can't pay for it. That, that's not a joke. Okay, I'll have one of my main men dispose of it. In the meanwhile, go to the lobby. That's where I'll be having everyone in the hotel wait. I'm going to investigate this room, but you two can't go inside. It's just Gumshoe and the body alone. Yo. Well, you heard the detective. I'm going down to the lobby. See ya. Let's all go to the lobby. Mm. I'm technically not part of the case yet, but I think I should start investigating. That's my Mia. Let's go in. Ah, uh, wait. That was this door. This is the doorknob to Clavier's room. When Maria and I wrote here, the key was in it. I checked that myself. How could that have happened? Maybe she set it up. Looks like there's a slot for a card key and a regular key. And let's talk to myself. Never mind. Um, present bodge? Bodge? Let's present the bodge? Aww, okay, let's go back. <laughs> just warning you guys that uh, my playstyle is kind of different and commentary is different. Like, I'm just more open minded and weird, so. Yeah, this is pleasing to meet you again. What is it you want? What is it with you and stumbling into crime scenes anyway? So he's the one that always happens to be the servant of the victim and also cracks faces. Just seeing her face makes me remember that case, that that vase. It doesn't help that there are other similarities. The detective had mentioned it earlier. Seeing how you were the discoverer of the crime together with me, would you mind answering some questions? Yes, I would. Why should I? Just... Mm, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> I'm just letting you guys know I was gone because of anime, so... Yep. <laughs> That's really random. Anyways, you're not going. You're not an official investigator. I have nothing to gain by figuring out the culprit or anything. Well, since I won't exactly have anything to do for the next couple hours, I might as well. Too kind of you. <laughs> that kind of case. So you started working here as a maid after all. Yep, I was obviously in need of a new man, I mean job, after that mess. Didn't I give her like a man voice in the last case? This place is just perfect for it. The play I need to clean, but the pay is more or less okay. I see. And I'm not suddenly without a job again just because one guy kicked the bucket. Does anybody besides he, me, actually care about the corpse here? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. It just looked like your wallet was about to fall out of your pocket. Or... Why are you eyeing my wallet? This maid. At a time like this, she tried to... Ah, Black Rune. <laughs> and anything else that can help you with, dear customer? <laughs> You've heard the detective label on one of those cases. Do you understand what he meant? One of those cases where a certain stubborn lawyer always keeps getting in the way of the police? That's not me. It's not me at all. <laughs> well... Well, depending on the circumstance, it might be one of those impossible crimes. There's no such thing as an impossible crime. I'm wondering whether that's the case or whether that's just the detective jumping onto conclusions. That dick. That shouldn't be so hard to determine, huh? As a maid here, I happen to have this map of the hotel. Let's take a look. Hey, it's a duplicate of Miles Edgeworth. Is uh, I'll just go ahead and. This is the fifth floor, Claver's room. I'm already confused. From the looks of it, there is really no way, other way of entry except the door. The only means of entering or leaving that room are the door to the hallway and the window. To be fair, we are talking about the fifth floor here. So entering or leaving the, the, to the window would be pretty much impossible. Well, unless he was Spider-Man. I guess someone could have left that way, but then we'd probably find their corpse in the courtyard. Unless... That leaves only the door we used in. But what a shock! From this, it does certainly seem like another locked room case. Ah, oh, black room. <laughs> but is it really, or am I just lacking information? It seems like the culprit really must have entered and left through the door. If there was one, 
I should probably try to get more info about this. And probably try to sell this for over $9,000. So let's get going over this. I mean, let's try going over this again. Go over what? I bought the door to the room we had to open. What about it? It was locked alright. Well, it was most definitely locked, but first of all, how many keys to that room exist? Oh wow. That is the most stupidest... That's, that's a really quite logical... question. There's naturally only one... only this key for the room. Isn't it like a master key? Uh, I guess this room isn't... That's secure. I don't know what I'm saying. I suppose there's also the skeleton. Yeah, yeah, there it is, master key. Skeleton key, master key, whatever. It's not like it actually matters in this case. It does! I mean, you could have locked the room from the outside with one of those two. But that obviously didn't happen, seeing how the key was put in the clock from the inside. So considering that, it would have been completely impossible to lock the room from the outside. From the outside. What do you mean? Why couldn't the skeleton key have been used? Did he not have enough... Uh, I'm not gonna get Skyrim nerd on here. Why don't you try thinking for a moment before speaking? You found the key inside the lock, inside the room, right? Think about what would happen if the key was in the lock like that. And someone tried to lock the room from the outside with the skeleton key. Ah, what? I'm confused. The key inside the room would be pushed out of the lock. Oh, what? But since the key was still in the lock on the inside, it could not have been locked on the outside. Judging from that, I'm still confused that the key was definitely still in the lock. I made myself absolutely sure of that. Ironically enough, I'd have enough. I'd have been enough to accuse you of lying about it if I didn't have been for that. I guess there technically have been another way to lock the door from outside. Huh? What do you mean? Getting forgetful, trying to remember the door. The doors in this hotel do actually have two locking mechanisms. That's pretty weird. The regular keyhole and the card key hot slot. So it has two holes. <laughs> ah, a card key slot. You can lock the door with that as well. Well, yes. To make things less complicated for person though. I think I remember seeing a lock like that at the Gatewater Hotel. I, I don't. Nah, ours are completely different. So anyone with a card key could have opened and locked that door as well. This will either make things simpler or more complicated. For me, it'll either make things more complicated or more complicated. Alright. Alright. I think I've learned everything I could about her, about the room and the doors for now. There's one thing I need to ask her about though. Room service. What's in the meal? If I remember correctly, your business at the victim's room was to deliver room service, correct? Yes, he, he ordered some weird meal to be delivered to his room. And I was the one who unfortunately had to take care of delivering that. What was it? When did you receive that order? Like, I don't know, 10 minutes after 1 o'clock? Over the phone? Yes, over the phone. What did you expect? That you'd have to fax it? <laughs> that means Mr. Gaiman was most likely still alive at 1.10. So what exactly was his order? There we go. Just some weird specialty we serve here. Wellington's Wellington or something? <laughs> that sounds nasty. Pasta's pasta. Ew. Um, yeah. Salmonella's salmon? <laughs> Ew. I see. Anything else besides that? Just Wellington's Wellington and a glass to go with it. <laughs> Dick's. Never mind, I'm not gonna go with, on with Dick Gumshoes. Duh, let's move on. I better keep it PG. Interesting. Well, this may or may not be of any importance. Can't hurt to note it down, I suppose. Room service record added to the court's record. And if we check this, he ordered a serving of Wellington's Wellington and a glass of wine. Alright, wait, 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 let's examine this vase. I get the feeling those trees would be a really good place to hide something in. Let's see. Nope, no valuable, strange notes or weapons. Why does that make me feel so disappointed? Huh, maybe there's something hidden in a different tree. You got me really conf really thinking. This is kind of making me want to examine all of the vases. <laughs> Uh, why do I feel like something's gonna pop out? Uh, oh, nope. Oh, that was a troll thing to do, was it? I have no idea. Um, to the restaurant. November 1, 225. Embassy Hotel Central Restaurants. Ah, a customer. 
Oh no! No! Forgive me while I look away. I'll have to look at the text. Welcome to this restaurant. No, I shall be your waiter, Jean Armstrong. This is not an accent he should be using. I'll just give him the manliest accent. Perhaps the mess of Brazil is hungry. That's kind of more nasty. Actually, I was hoping I could. You know what? I'm not gonna voice him at all. <laughs> Maybe I should. How about today's special? But of course. You cannot look at the menu yet because you have friends joining you soon. I understand, Mademoiselle. Hey, what are you doing here? Just what are you doing in my restaurant? Ah, thank goodness. Ah, well, you see. Oh, no. Look at the time. I must bid you all adieu. Sorry to see that. Ah, um, well, yeah. <laughs> my name is Richard Wellington. Welcome to my restaurants. Who exactly was that um, man? Or was that a man? His name is Gene Armstrong. He's like a captain without a ship. Or a chef without a kitchen. Actually, a chef without a kitchen is exactly what he is. He likes to sneak into restaurants when nobody's around and pretend he owns it. Weird. I see. Anyway, if that unpleasantness is out of the way, I'm happy to be of service. And the music plays. So, you're the chef here. That's right. People come out from all over the world to stay here and have Wellington's Wellington. Ugh. Never heard of it. Would you mind telling me about yourself? Mind telling me about yourself, man? I'm afraid there isn't much to tell other than I use this thing around my neck to choke myself sometimes. Wait, that's a different. To be honest, until a few years ago, I was involved in some shady business. But then one day, I had an epiphany. I realized what I really wanted. I realized that I... I love large bananas. No, nor any food of any size, really. On it to become a chef is what I'm saying. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, does he like baseball too? I got my job here, and now people from all over, the, all over, try to try Wellington's Wellington. Richard Wellington, shady business, bananas. I feel a distant memory returning. Wait, wasn't he the witness in one of my cases a really long time ago? Oh yeah, this is that alternate universe thing. Witness, there's no place left to run. I actually looked up all the numbers in the phone's memory. No! They're all members of a certain group of colonists. You're one of their members. Choke yourself to death. Wait a just second. What are you even talking about? I have my cell phone right here and there certainly aren't any of those numbers on there. I knew it. He was the one who hit me in the lobby and retrieved this phone. <gasps> well, what am I supposed to do now? Miss Faye. Where exactly is this phone the defendant found right now? Actually, someone attacked me in the lobby and stole it. And stole it. Or someone like look look like him, and he's just like, as expected from a lawyer who only received third rate education. In other words, you don't have slightest e bit of evidence proving that phone was mine. <laughs> and there he is. Something like that happened several years ago, I guess. If I remember correctly, I managed to at least get a not guilty verdict in the end. Considering I had nobody else to pin the blame on, that's still quite an achievement in this country. <laughs> oh well, maybe it's just a weird coincidence and this isn't the witness from back then. Mm, I shouldn't be prejudged pre 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 here. Even if it's that guy, there was no actual proof of his guilt. Still, that doesn't mean I f approve of this guy's attitude. <laughs> ah, the murder. Are you aware that Samara mur- I- that- uh, Are you mur- Are you aware that a murder has been committed here? Yeah, it's truly awful, isn't it? That trench corner detective came by earlier and told me that there had been a murder. He told me not to wander around the hotel too much. But I usually just stay in here in the kitchen and... So that- I'm staying here, so that wasn't a problem. Is that where you've been today? Yes, if you're looking for info on the murder, I'm afraid I can't help you. I see. That sucks. So you own this restaurant? Technically the hotel owns it and I lease it. But it is a situation that all are quite content with. What kind of food do you serve here? The Embassy Hotel serves a wide range of globe-trotting guests. And so the central restaurant boasts an expansive palette to accommodate any traveler. You name it, we got it. And if we don't, we'll make it. So, it seems pretty deserted. <laughs> and what is that supposed to mean? Oh, uh... So, you guys don't have business here? 
Oh well, murder just occurred during the rainstorm in the off season. I suppose I can't expect too much at the moment. But when the weather is better and it's tour season, this place is packed. Huh. Now let's show him. Wellington's Wellington? Ah. I am a chef, master culinary arts. And uh, what does the master culinary arts have to say about this? That it is not food. Therefore, it's meaningless to me. Uh, I guess we're done here. Let me just present my badge. Oh. <laughs> Let's head back to the room. Yes, 303. Hey, it's Dick. Hello there. Hello there. Ah, oh, hello, Mrs. Fay. Is there any particular reason you're standing outside the door? Well, a few minutes ago, Prosecutor Von Karma showed up. And she kicked everyone else out, saying she didn't want them to disturb her perfect investigation. So is Mon Car Von Mon is Miss Von Karma the prosecutor in charge of this case? That's right! Even though we haven't arrested anyone yet, it seems this time I actually have to face off against her. Ah, <sighs> finally. I mean, Hazama's cool. He is. I have no idea what I'm saying. So, have you gotten any new leads? Sorry, pal, but you're not part of the case. But, but I discovered the body. Can you just tell me just a little, please? Okay, fine. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> so, about the knife that was in the room. You want to know about that, eh? You're in luck. I have quite a bit of info on it. Really? So, you know whose blood is on it? It's technically Clavier's, right? All the results for that test haven't come back yet. But I know where the knife came from. It's one of the knives used in the central restaurant here in the hotel. What? Actually, I dealt with a case that had a knife like this one quite a few years back. It involved Miles, didn't it? It seems the knives in the restaurant are based on knives that were kept in this building. That's interesting. Anything else? Yep, we found fingerprints on the handle. Whose? Just one set. Clavier gave it. Well, of course. Thanks, I appreciate the info. If the victim's fingerprints are on the handle, then that means the blood probably begins, belongs to him. Aha! Oh god. Another perfect decision, just as expected from a woman. Come on. That was a change of accent. Hello there, Miss Mia Faye. I am sorry I was unable to make it to a trial last morning. You are quite lucky. If I had been there, the outcome would have been surely different. Somehow, I doubt you could have been worse than him. <laughs> unless, you want to, unless you want to lose tomorrow, I advise you not to take this case. Wait, do you mean? That's right, I've solved this case. I know both who committed this crime and I and how they created the locked room. What? But from what I saw in the crime scene, there wasn't really any evidence. Well, of course, you wouldn't be able to figure it out. And what is that supposed to mean? My apologies, I did not mean it in that way. You see, I was involved in an incident at the same building several years ago. Is this the embassy? And the solution to that case is the solution to this one. Now then, I think I've wasted enough time here. Come on, Scruffy, it's time to make that arrest. I wonder if she really solved the crime. She didn't. She's just trolling us. I suppose I should go see who she's going to arrest at least. Who is she gonna arrest? Is it Obeg? Obeg. Looks like I'm just in time. You, you're under arrest. What the hell? <laughs> this is the first time we get to see this guy and he's being tried? That's fair. No, the man behind you. Oh, what's a clown doing in the embassy? Me? What's what's a clown doing in the embassy? <laughs> Mr. Ron Delight, you are under the arrest for the murder of Clavery Kitten. What? But I didn't do it! Humph, we'll see about that. And then they lived happy ever, ever after. I should probably go s to speak to him and see if he really did it. I don't think he did. Ah, Mrs. Faye. Ah, I feel terribly sorry that you got caught up in this mess. Even though you're not the guest here, please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Actually, I was wondering if you could just answer a few questions. I'd be more than happy to. Alright, that seemed kind of short, but it was 20 minutes. 
I'm gonna end it off here and just letting you guys know it's been a while but I plan to keep making videos. College life has been hectic but it's ending. And what do you call it? I've been watching lots of anime so that's been killing as well. But I'll get back on this business. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I don't know how to end this. Peace. <laughs> okay, bye.